Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's that time again where this video is going to be me showing all of my October drawings I did for the month of October. Um, as you guys may know, I did upload a video kind of stating my thoughts and feelings of me doing October. I didn't commit to it this year. I only did what I could or I only did what I humanly could as possible due to my situation right now. And I will say that I'm happy with what I've done. Um, I only did eight drawings. Like, seriously, I only did eight drawings. So this is going to be the quickest video ever. But I feel happy about it because with all eight drawings, I went into them um, with my love and my all. And I just love how my October ended up looking like. My theme for my October is actually Boytober. I did it last year and I just wanted to do it this year because I really do enjoy drawing guides if you guys don't know. No pun intended. <laughs> um, I'm mainly a male artist. Um, I have been drawing females for a hot minute um, because I'm trying to get better at them but a majority of the time I will prefer drawing guys. So it's Boytober. So, um, that was my theme, and I actually went with the same color scheme like I did last year, which is pastel, because, um, I normally use colors that are not vibrant, I'm not a vibrant girl, but I like using colors that are much there, if you kind of get what I'm saying, but I just like doing the pastel vibe, and, um, everything else is just whatever, um, the paper I use was cardstock, I use cardstock for all of my marker art. Um, I drew these pictures with a, hold on, this is so unprofessional. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot even, this is how my videos go, guys. But yeah, I drew all my drawings, not with this color, but I drew my drawings all with the um, Crayola erasable colored pencils, um, which is my favorite pencil to draw and sketch with whenever I do marker art. So yeah. Um, these are my favorite go-to sketch pencils, and like always, I use my Ohuhu markers, um, to do the coloring, and my line art, I actually use my Tombow Foot and Noscape pen to ink all of my drawings, which I'm gonna have to get a new one, because both of the ones I have are dead, apparently, so, um, thank you for surviving eight drawings for October. Alrighty guys, so I forgot to mention one more thing. All of my drawings will have stars on them because I've recently made a new character named Ajayla. Um, she's the best friend of my character Ari and Ajayla has like star stickies on her face and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that little motif. So um, stars, I guess, was another choice of mine to have on every drawing. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So um, a day one is actually of my original character, Manabu. Um, Manabu is actually my alpha male OC. Um, I'm really into the Omegaverse. I love the Omegaverse. So um, it was only in due time in which I actually made a Omegaverse character. So um, yeah, this is Manabu. Um, I actually made him have star stickies on his face as well because I thought that was pretty cute. So yeah, Manabu. And hopefully my phone is getting the colors, but his background is actually blue and pink if you guys can see it I'm so sorry um, I wish my phone picked up the colors a little bit more accurately but um yeah Monobu. so my day two is actually a prince from run with the wind because if you guys don't know run with the wind is like one of my favorite animes and I tried to do characters I didn't do last year like that's what stopped me for a lot for a, a lot of the time um for my boytober I just had to think of characters I didn't show <laughs> and I noticed I didn't do any run with the wind characters so um yeet so here's Prince. He's my favorite character in the show, to be honest. I love the main two boyos, but Prince really just kind of grabbed me. So, um, yee, I actually really love how this turned out because with the pastel ohuhus, they don't really have a brown color, so I kind of have to work with what I had. So, um, yeah, so again, I'm pretty sure my phone's not gonna pick it, pick up the coloring as accurately as I want it to. But yeah, Prince. 
So my day three of Inktober is actually Anzai from Devil's Line because, oh my gosh, guys, I got into this AMA really heavy, I think two years ago, I believe so. <laughs> and it's so good. And I love Anzai. Anzai, again, is my favorite character in that show. And oh my gosh, guys, I love him. <laughs> oh, ooh, oh my gosh. Anyways, I love him. <laughs> But anyways, um, this honestly is not my favorite drawing of the eight, but I can, I'm proud of how I went about it. <laughs> so, um, yee, I'm sorry. He's such a precious baby boy. Yo. I love him. Love him lots. So, yeah. So, my Inktober day four is actually a random emo boy. Um, I actually redrew this drawing because if you guys didn't know, Years ago, I did that 100 heads challenge, which I'm not gonna do anymore, because that, how easy that was, was how, you know, stressful it was, because <laughs> I beat myself up over it, like, yo, how come I can't finish something so easy? I draw heads all the time. But you know, that was another experience I could talk about at a later date. But you know, I really liked this person that I drew so I decided to redraw him an actual drawing for October and since I was going for the emo concept I just kind of added some things in the background it kind of gave the emo vibe if you kind of get what I'm saying and I actually went through a very heavy emo phase as well so this is perfect and I wanted to add color because the original drawing just was black and white because again I was trying to draw as fast as I could 100 heads so black and white was my choice of color but um I did have trouble trying to pick out colors but I feel like the colors I chose I just really like them so this turned out really well this is one of my favorites I love this one a lot all right so day five of my inktober is actually happy from fairy tale this is actually a humanized version of him um so there is a backstory to this so um i'm a huge fan of fairy tale's seventh ending lonely person by shauna um it's kind of the ending that focuses on the adolescent arc of the show which focuses on happy and um carla finding out about their origins and all that stuff and i'm like oh my gosh i did fan art of it a while ago where i did humanize happy and carla so i'm like oh my gosh i really want to draw another version of happy that i'm actually satisfied with and i really love this one it turned out really cute and i'm just like ah <laughs> it's so hard trying to humanize um animals because you're just like oh my gosh i need to add some characteristics that kind of make it look like the animal but i really feel like i got happy on this one and can you just imagine him saying aye aye sir <laughs> just imagine it he'll say aye aye sir so yeah so this one turned out really cute i really love it i love it a lot Alrighty, guys so my day six no my day <laughs> But day five, no, no, this is day six. My day six of October is actually my character, Nick. Nicholas is his real name, Nicholas Rivera. Um, so I actually do not draw this character at all. Um, I draw him sometimes when I'm actually in the mood to draw Ico in them, but I just kind of realized I never drew him like specifically. So I'm like, what better day or what better challenge to draw Nick than October? So uh, I really love how this turned out. Like I'm not even lying, guys. This has to be my favorite. I actually didn't like this drawing for the longest because i don't know me looking at my art after i drew it just kind of changes my perspective of a lot of them but oh my gosh guys this is like uh, i'm in love um, but this was a drawing where i actually found my way to do blonde hair it's not gonna show as good on my phone but i promise you guys the colors are a lot more opaque in real life than they are on camera they just look washed out i'm so sorry but um yeah but i really love this drawing and ah I, I cannot and the cute little touch i added was this little hair clip um because nick's hair is very messy and i go just take it as he's taking a photo and i goes like dude your hair is in the way so she put one of her clips in his hair so you can see his eyes and i'm like oh my gosh nick looks so cute i love it i love it a lot Alrighty, guys so my day seven of inktober is actually 
by OC Akise. <laughs> I haven't really been drawing this character to be honest because if you guys don't know, Akise is actually one of my most not liked characters um, that I do have. Um, if you guys know his background surrounding him and how he fits within Aiko and all of the other characters' worlds, you guys will know why he's not liked. But um, I will say, Akise is one of the characters that I love drawing the most out of all of my characters. If I had to be honest, that's the honest truth. I love drawing him out of all of my characters. But, you know, a lot of you guys are like, Narelle, chill out. <laughs> but, you know, I had to give Akise, you know, his time to shine in this. So I'm like, you know what? Forget you all. <laughs> I honestly have not drawn him as so long but uh, i've been drawing him um with his hair up for the past couple of like months and i'm like yo i'm living for this so um this is him looking extra snazzy and he's wearing glasses in this but he doesn't wear glasses guys these are fake glasses because i have this part in his story because he actually goes out with my character kahori and before they actually become a thing he actually would you know dress up in a very different style than his normal Normal, um, just to kind of, you know, not stalk her, but just kind of look after her so he could kind of observe her and, you know, do what he could from afar without being too obvious about it. So this is kind of the look he has. But uh, my friend Unico Nico, they were like, oh my gosh, Nairo, keep this hairstyle for him as one of his hair choices. And I'm like, I'm not opposed to that because he looks like a snack. He looks like a heavy freaking snack. And I did a drawing of him in my sketchbook with the same hairstyle looking like an extra snack, which you will see whenever my sketchbook updates posted which will probably be next year but um yeah so akise is living his best life in this video so um yeah Alrighty, guys and my inktober day eight was already a video on my channel but just so um just in case you guys are not caught up with my videos yet by day eight of inktober is actually of my character mochu this one is like really cute i kind of went over my process for this drawing in the video um i made for it but i just really wanted to um end off my inktober with a drawing that shows a person happy living his best life and you could tell the person is genuinely happy which is kind of a emotion that is kind of hard to draw sometimes because like certain things can go wrong in the way you draw like eyes or eyebrows in which you can't convey that emotion and i feel like with my inktober so far well all of them in which you've seen i kind of conveyed all the emotions i wanted to convey um so here's mochu um and there's a lot of glitter in the background i'm glad you can see it more now but this is actually just a really pretty drawing and i just really love this drawing i love it a lot and it's cute and i don't draw a mochu like that so i'm like why not end off my inktober on the happiest brightest note that is mochu <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Inktober um, drawings for this year. Um, I haven't seen many people upload their videos yet. Maybe I need to search for them and not let them search for me. So, you know, watch me upload this and then in my suggested tabs, watch me get nothing but Inktober videos. I know it's going to come when I actually post, it, post this on my channel, so watch it happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll have to do my due diligence and find y'alls but um if you want to link your videos down below go ahead and do it so it kind of saves me time you know but anyways i hope you guys like this video um give it a like if you enjoyed it comment down whatever you like to say to me in the comment box below and my next video is going to be my vlog for october and then after that i do have some very very entertaining art videos coming so you know the content is getting there guys but you know i just gotta make time for it you know so yeah that's it for me so bye